Welcome to the Unit 20 show. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your American Trucks Simulator dedicated server. Um, this way you and your friends can play amongst each other. Um, it's only eight people per session until SCS decide to make it even bigger for other players to play on. But right now I want to hurry up and get you to your server. So with these steps they're going to assist you in getting your server set up as quickly as possible and as easy as I possibly can show you so let's get to it so with the first thing you want to do all right you want to go to your steam no you don't want to go to your steam you want to go to your you want to go to your internet browser and you want to look up Steam DB. Steam DB and log in with your Steam account. When you log in with your Steam account, you're going to bring up this page right here. It's going to say American Truck Simulator Dedicated Server. Right? Okay, cool. Now you're on this page. You want to click on the install. You want to install that. It's going to take you to your directory of your Steam install and install it through your steam um, client once it's installing your steam client you want to go to your you want to go to your steam make sure that it's in there that your dedicated server for american truck simulator is in there once you got your american truck simulator dedicated server in there you want to do another step all right you want to go to your American Truck Simulator, you want to launch that. Alright. When you launch American Truck Simulator, hold on one second. I need to pull up something real quick. Uh, give me one second. Alright. So. When you pull up your American Truck Simulator, you want to, what you want to do is play it like normal. There's a reason why I say play it like normal. Okay. So while the server is doing its thing, it's picking up, it's trying to uh, turn on. I want to go past that, all the way past that. Hold on one second. All right. Once you do that, I'm going to go back to the game. Now, the reason why you probably can't see what I'm doing is because, okay, now you can see me. All right, cool. So what you want to do is go to your profile, the one that you want to use, and you go to your profile. Make sure, make sure that you have all your mods that you want to use in here now. So all the mods that you want your group to use, your VTC or whatever, you want to have those mods embedded right now. This is crucial because if you want to add mods, and it's, it's, a, it's a source. You want to have all your mods here now, right? Okay. So now that you got all your mods. You want to take, you want to take plus, click yes, and you want to go to into the game. You want to click on American Truck Simulator and go to the game. While the game do its loading and launching, we're going to go into the next step. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible as I can to get you to your server as quickly as possible as you can. I have multiple files. I have Coast to Coast, Canada Dreams, um, the Islands. So make sure you check your maps. Make sure that your maps ain't got no boo-boos or nothing in there. You know. All right. You got your, you got your Viva Mexico. Well, we don't call we call it Reformer, but you got your Reformer. You got your Virgin Islands. You got your coast to coast, you got your Midwest expansion, you got your Canada, you got your Pro Mods, you got your Alaska, you got your Hawaiian Islands, 
So now what do we do here? All right. So since you got all your maps and your trucks in and everything, you want to go to your drivetrain. You want to load into the game. Now this is crucial because now we think you're ready to import the serious stuff that you need to get your server up and running that required by SES. Okay. So now you're here. What you want to do is you want to click on console command. If you have your console command going, this is crucial. If you have your console command, I should have showed you that you needed your console and your developer um, ineligible to one. That is crucial. If you know how to do that, turn it into a one. Your console command is a one and your developer is a one. Remember that. So now that we have that, what do now that I got my console command and everything else, but what do I do from here? Well, you want to type these commands in there. These commands are export server, export underscore server underscore package. When you do that, it's going to give you a confirmation. So once you type that in there, you press enter. It's going to say successfully uh, exported server export export server packages is successfully exported okay it's going to give you that command once it gives you that command that is successfully um, exported out what you want to do you want to not close the game but what you want to do is just go home to your regular main screen when you go to your regular main screen you want to go to your um, folder you want to go to your game directory in your documents okay give you a second to blow this up you want to go to your game directory in your documents when you go to your game directory in your documents you're going to find these two files server package dot 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 date and then server package what you want to do is you want to take those two and copy them all right you want to copy those two folders those two files and what you want to do from there you want to now before you go this file stays here in that folder but this is crucial this file right here what you type in to tell your server um, what lobby name this is what description it is the welcome message the password and the maximum player maximum players is eight if you change it to a hundred and then start the server it will default back to eight you can't go any above number than 8. You can say 11, you can say 18. It's going to default back to 8 because SES haven't upgraded for more people. So it's 8 people per server, which can be more. But, you know, hey, this is where you change the rules, the false, the, you know, everything. So in here you will type your, 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 uh, company name your whatever name of your server is the description of your server the welcome message if you got them a password you can type a password remember if you type a password you need to type the password in between these two hashtags so if your password is one two three four you would type one two three four hash one two three four hash okay same thing for everything else that you explain there okay for me, I don't have a password, so no. So once you do that, okay, you set your lobby up. Um, Council. Oh, don't save. Okay. So once you do that, you take these two files. Leave the conf server config file in there. Leave it in your document folder. You want to take these two files. You want to copy those. Bang. You want to copy them. And then you want to go over to your dedicated server where will you find your dedicated server well your dedicated server will be anywhere that you install install your dedicated server so my dedicated server is installed on my main root folder of my steam workshop so it'll be my steam library steam apps common american truck simulator dedicated server all right you want to click on your dedicated server once you click on your dedicated server you want to take that and you want to paste those two same files in there you want to paste them in there once you paste them in there what i want you to do 
Yes, hold on one second. What I want you to do, once you paste those two in there, um, you, once you paste those two in there, what I want you to do, I want you to go to Ben Win64 American Truck Simulator Server. Once you do that, you want to hit that. It's going to do all this running, and then it's going to tell you, hey, successfully input it. Now the server is up and running. You're all good. You're ready to go. So that's how you input it. If you need help, I will have a server up, um, um, a Discord server. You can hit me there. Um, I'll put those links in the description. Um, thanks for watching. And I hope you can get your server and I can see you on the, on the other end. Thank you.